we say hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Well, the time has come for worship. We would that you would stand all over the building and begin to get your heart in a condition to worship, to turn your mind into worship, focus on his goodness and his greatness. Wherever you are listening to this broadcast, we ask that you would bring your minds in and begin to put your mind on him. Consecrate yourself. Concentrate on him and worship him. For he is Christ the Lord. He's good and he's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same sun. This God that we serve is a mighty God. He's the Elohim. He's the El Shaddai. He's Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha. He is God and he's God alone. There are many names to call him, but this morning we just want to call him Father. Father, you are holy. Father, you are worthy. Father, you are righteous. You are a holy king. You are a mighty ruler. You have been a father to us. You lead us in the way that we should go. And for that very reason, we tell you thank you right now. Father, we say thank you right now. We thank you for another morning that you have graced us to be alive. We thank you for the ability and the use of our limbs this morning. Father, we are so thankful this morning that you live and abide on the inside of us. We know it's your wind in our lungs. It's your, your power that's moving in our bodies. If it had not been for you this morning, oh God, we would not be able to come where we are right now. Oh God, we tell you thank you right now for giving us a mind to worship. Father, you created us to worship. And we promise right now where we stand that we're going to give everything that we have to you this morning. We give you the fruit of our lips. We give you the worship out of our hearts, God. We pour out our love on you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We pour out our love on you this morning. There's nobody lovely like you. There's more, not a more powerful than you. Oh, we come to glorify you. Come on, saints. We come to glorify you. We come to magnify you. We come to lift your name high. There's nobody like you. We've tried friends and family. We've tried other outlets. We've tried other resources. But every way that we've gone led us back to you. Oh, you're the everlasting father. You're the everlasting father. You're the everlasting father. You're the soon coming king. You're the almighty God. You are the almighty God. We love you. 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 We love you this morning. We thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you. We lift your name high above all of the heavens. You promised us that if, that if we would lift you high, you would draw us nigh. So, Father, as we lift you this morning, lift up our hands, lift up our hearts, lift up our countenances, lift us up, God, where we belong. Lift us, lift us, lift us, lift us, lift up the heavy heart, lift up the burden down spirit. Give us freedom of worship. Give us freedom of spirit. Give us freedom of holiness. Give us the freedom of your spirit this morning. We worship you in spirit and in truth. For you are the soon coming king. You are the soon coming king. You are the soon coming king. We reverence you. We glorify you. We reverence you. We glorify you. We reverence you. We reverence you. Hallelujah. We glorify you and all of your majesty, and all of your holiness, and all of your splendor, we reverence you. Glory, hallelujah. Come on church, glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, that's what he wants this morning. He wants the glory out of your life. He wants the glory out of your life. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, that's what he wants. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, give him the glory right there. Give him the glory, glory, glory. Flowing out of you. Flowing out of you. Flowing out of you. 
flowing out of you. Hallelujah. This is what he wants. This is what he longs for. This is what he wants. This is what he longs for. A true worship. A true worship. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He is the truth. He is the way. He is the life. No man comes to the Father except by him. I wish you would let it flow out of your soul like a river this morning. Glory. Glory. Come on, let it flow out of your soul. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's turning over right now. Come on, double whole shot. It's turning over right there. Come on, let it spit out. Let it flow out of you. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. We are at his feet right now. We're at his feet right now. Hallelujah. In the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. And at his right hands are pleasures forevermore. Pour out your love on him. Pour out your love on him. As you pour out of your love on him, he will pour out his blessings upon you. Come on, we can stand another blessing. We can stand another blessing. We can stand another blessing. We stand on the mountain top, God. Wait to hear what you have to say to us. We stand on the mountain top, God. Waiting to hear what you have to say to us. We know that you're speaking. We know that you're speaking. We know that you're speaking. Let us hear a new sound. A new sound out of Zion. 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 Come on, church. Come on, Zion. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. You are the true and living God. And we know that you're worthy. We know that you're moving right now. Move right now. Move right now. Send a word, God that will change the very foundation of our lives. Shake the ground that we walk upon. 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 Shake it up now. Shake it up now. Shake it up now. Shake it up now. The fallow ground. The fallow ground. Shake it up now. In the name of Jesus, come on, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, my whole shot, yes, 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 we're open to the move, you might say, we're open to the move, we're open to the move, we're open to the move, we're open to the move. yes, we are, we're open to the move, pull us in the way you want us to go. Pull us into your direction. Set us in trajectory for the glory of the Lord. Let the glory of the Lord rest right now. Abide right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is so. And it is done. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And thank God. Come on, let's stay right there. Open up your mouth all over the building. And just begin to honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, we reverence you. Come on, we magnify you. We glorify you. Let's stay right there. Come on, we bless your name, Jesus. There's nobody like you in all the earth. Come on, heaven is your throne and earth is your footstool. Come on, we bless your name, Father. We glorify you. We honor you and we lift you up. We glorify you. We reverence you and we say, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, you're welcome here. King of Kings and
and Lord of Lords, you're welcome here. Can you just say that King of Kings and Lord of Lords, you're welcome here. You're the soon coming King, but we welcome you. We welcome you this morning. 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 We welcome you. We welcome you this morning. We welcome you this morning. Father, have your way. Father, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. Father, we're open this morning. And we say, Father, have your way. We say, Father, have your way. And we say, Father, have your way. And Handa Namon Shia, we say, Father, have your way. We say, Father, have your way. We say, Father, have your way. Ooh, there's nobody like you in all the earth. And we say, Father, you're welcome here. No, there's nobody like you in all the earth. And we welcome you here. Come on, can you lift your hands all over the building and just put praises on your lips and magnify the King of kings and the Lord of lords. As we welcome him in this place, just begin to tell him that there's nobody like him and on the earth there's nobody bigger than you there's nobody stronger than you there's nobody else that can save there's nobody else that can heal now all over the building if you're watching online i just want you to clap your hands like this clap your hands all you people and shout unto god with the voice of triumph there's nobody like our god we gonna make that declaration all over the house today. Clap your hands right here. Oh. Can you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, there's no one like our God. Hey. We love you, Jesus. I want you to catch this chat with us. It says, oh. oh. God, oh Lord, you are my God. You're faithful and ever true. Faithful and ever true. You're perfect in all your ways. Perfect in all your ways. And there is no God like you. There hey, is no God. Whoa. Faithful and ever true. Faithful and ever true. Perfect in all your ways. Perfect in all your ways. And there is no God like you. There Sing is it with no us. God like we see, oh Lord, you are my God. Oh Lord, you are my God. Your faithful and ever true. Faithful and ever true. You're perfect in all your ways. Perfect in all your ways. And there there's no one like our God. There's no one like our God. Come on, sing it in the house. We say, Whoa. There's no one like our God. There's no one 
never true. Faithful and never true. You're perfect in all your ways. Perfect in all your ways. And there is no God like you. There is Come on, no sing it with us. Like you. Say, oh Lord, you are my God. Oh Lord, you are my God. You're faithful and never true. Faithful and never true. You're perfect in all your ways. Yeah. 
if you're watching or live I don't know what you're facing I don't know what you're going through But there's nobody stronger If you're sitting in your house I said there's nothing bigger If you're driving in your car We say there's nothing stronger If you're sitting with your children There's nothing stronger There's no addict too hard There's no addiction too hard He can break every chain He can break everything Come on, come on There's no one stronger There's no one bigger There's no one stronger Say it, there's no God Say it, there's no God like you There's no God like you There's no God like you Lift your hands all over this building There's nothing bigger than him there's nothing stronger than him. So be crowned, you King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Say there's no one bigger. And say there's no one stronger. You say there's no one bigger. Come on, sing behind your mask. There's no one strong. That's it. Come on. You say there's nothing big. Nothing stronger, no one bigger, no one stronger, no one bigger, no one stronger, no disease too hard, there's no one stronger, nothing bigger, nothing stronger, nothing bigger, nothing stronger, hey, no one bigger. No one stronger, no one bigger, no one stronger. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no one like God. 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 And I need you at this moment to just open up your mouth. And just praise your God that's bigger than any and everything. Bigger than every problem and every situation. I just need you to give him the biggest praise that you can all over this room. Come on. Come on. That's it. Come on. Give him a praise like you know that there's nothing bigger. Nothing stronger for him. No situation he can't fix. There's no problem too hard for him. That's it. Come on. Let it ring throughout the house. Let it ring throughout the house. You said there's nothing bigger than him. Praise him above your situation and your circumstance and your ailment. No matter what's going in your mind or how you felt when you came in this morning. We say, Father, there's nothing bigger than you. There's nothing stronger than you. You are the King of Kings. Come on, you are the Lord of Lords. Can we just tell him who he is? You are our Redeemer, our shelter. You are the one true living God. You are the highest power. There's nothing bigger than you. There's nothing bigger than you. There's no one more powerful than you. There's no judgment that's a rose over your judgment. Hey, you are the only true living God. You are the only true living God. Come on, just tell them we honor you. We honor you. We reverence you. We reverence you. Our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Ruler. We reverence your name. 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 You are God. 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 
sovereign. You're sovereign. You're sovereign and we worship you. The sovereign king. Woo. The sovereign king, we worship you. The holy king, we worship you. Those that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. And our truth is that God, you're sovereign. You've never failed us. You rule and you super rule over all. You rule the heavens and the earth and you rule under the earth. There is no power that supersedes your power. You hold our power. You hold our power. You are the king. You are the king. And what do we do? We reverence the king. You are royalty. You are royalty. You are royalty. And so we join in with the angels this morning and we just reverence you. Let this atmosphere resembles one that's around your throne. We reverence you. You reverence you. Ooh, we reverence you, Lord. God, God, we reverence you. Can you just take a moment and just reverence him? Reverence him.
gotta bow, just bow. If you wanna weep, just weep. But you're the Lord of my life. You're the Lord of my life. And I call you the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. It's personal. I crown you the king of kings. Everybody say, oh. soul out of your spirit let them hear you come on let them hear you 
Come on. Lift it up, Zion. Come on, the bow, she and that. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on. Come on. This is where it is. This is where the breakthrough is. Mm. Come on, Shiata Bahasa. Come on, this is where the breakthrough is. Come on, Mando Bo Shianda. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, children. Let's lift him high. Let's lift him high. Iman Shobaho Shianda Shaya. Come on, let's lift him high. Glory to God. Come on, he's here. He's here. He's here right now. He's here right now. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, glory, oh, glory, oh, glory, oh, glory. Come on, this is where he lives. This is the glory that we talk about. This is the glory that we speak of. This is the glory cloud. Come on, get in the glory today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's touching right now. Oh, God, I feel such a strong release coming in the room. I feel a weight getting ready to drop in here. Come on, he's here right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Release your power and let your presence fall. Release your power. Come on, children. And God, release your power. 
your power. Release your victory. Release your glory right now. Release your healing virtue right now. Come on, there's a healing, there's a healing taking place. There's a release taking place right in this atmosphere. This is where chains are broken. This is where yokes are destroyed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you felt within your spirit that something broke off of you right then and there, I want you with a strong voice to lift up a strong praise and give it to him right now. Come on, lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Hey, lift it. Come on, get it off of you. Get it off of you. Come on, lift it right now. Glory to God. Once has he spoken it. Twice have I heard it. That power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. I wish I had a witness in this house. Power belongs to God. Why don't you just witness everybody on your road and tell them power still belongs to God. Come on, power still belongs to God. Who are you, great mountain? Who are you, great mountain? Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Power is still in his hands. There's no shortage of his power. There's no shortage of his power. All power belongs to God. Why? Because he is the almighty God. Hey! He is the almighty God. He is the almighty God. He is the Prince of Peace. He is Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Elion. Jehovah Siknu. Jehovah Rapha. The God who was, who is, and who is to come. He is the great God, Jehovah. I wish I had somebody that knew what I was talking about. He is Jesus. Christ the Lord. Christ the Lord. Christ the Lord. Christ the Lord. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. If you wonder what's that you feel, that's his touch. I'm on the Mahosha. That's his touch. That's a witness. That's a witness. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They used to sing a song that says, Who will be a witness for my Lord? Hallelujah. A sanctified witness for my Lord. Hallelujah to God. I'm, hallelujah to God. As I'm looking around this room, I see witness after witness. After testimony after testimony. Of God's goodness and His grace. Of God's healing power. Of His delivering power. Of His sanctifying power. reasons. Oh, come on here. I said, I've got many reasons. I've got many reasons. If I told you, we'll be here all day. But tell somebody, I've got many reasons to magnify him, to glorify him, to lift him, to extol him. He's a good God. Hey, he's a good God. He's a good God. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. There's no shortness of his greatness. There's no shortness of his greatness.
somebody, I promise him that I would serve him till I die. Hey, God, I thank you. Hallelujah to God. Mm. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Feel something hit my face. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Jericho Praiser sang a song that says, There's nobody like him. Wasn't that the first song y'all sang? Nobody like him. And I don't know about anybody else in this room, but I've tried many things. Huh? I've tried many things, many people. But I said earlier, every route that I take always leads me back to him. He's such a God that he will let you go as just as far as you want to go. But at the end of your rope, he's going to make you realize that he's your help. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. And in the time of trouble, all right, I feel like rolling. In the time of trouble, he shall be me. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. I want to, thank you, Lord. I want to share something. I want to share something that the Lord told me earlier this week, Bishop. Amen. You know, the enemy is cunning. He's a trickster. He likes to try to mess with your perception of things. Glory to God. And so there were some things that I've been facing and I prayed to God, I said, God, there's gotta be a better way. There's gotta be a better way. And he ministered to my spirit as I was driving. And he said, what is shall be no more. I said, God, what do you mean? He said, what is shall be no more. I said, God, what are you saying to me? He said, what you're seeing shall be no more. In other words, there's a turn coming. Where's Pastor Simmons? There's a turn coming. There's a turning of the page coming. And I just want to encourage everybody on the sound of my voice that's going through something that looks otherwise and tell you there's a turn coming. Glory. I said there's a turn coming. And every day this week when the enemy tries to put it in your mind that something's going wrong, I want you to tell the enemy what is shall be no more. Where's the witness in here? I said, what is, shall be no more. All right. And that thing just kept registering in my spirit. Hallelujah. It just kept turning over in my spirit. And I said, God, I thank you right now. You have to proclaim what you want to see. Hallelujah. You got to make it known before the enemy because he's listening too, believe it or not. And you got to tell the devil right in his face, what is, shall be no more. The sickness, what is, shall be no more. The depression, what is, well, we got our praise on the floor, shall be no more. I wonder if anybody can give God praise for what's getting ready to turn. Let's go. 
misericordia. Se llamó misericordia. The Greek is fighting for you. Prince is fighting for you. And guess what? He's gonna give you the victory. I God got me in here. I said, He's gonna give you the victory. There's no doubt about it. He's gonna give you the short of victory. Hey, 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 Lord. He's gonna give you the short of victory. Sister Tammy. He's gonna give me the show of victory. Bill Sykes about it here. Somebody clap your hands, clap your hands. Put your hands together like all over the room. Bishop said, this is the church where the champions reside. I said, this is the church where the champions reside. Hallelujah. And I mean, you know, when you get a victory, you can't be quiet about it. So we could try that again. I said, this is the church where the champions reside. We give God praise for our bishop and our leader, Bishop David L. Baxter Jr. And to our lady, Kenyatta Baxter. Amen. To all of our house pastors, Pastor James King, Pastor Sherlyn Simmons, Pastor Antoine Lawrence. Hallelujah. For every saint, member, and friend. To our mothers that are here today. Hallelujah. God, I get glad every time I look at them. Hallelujah. But most of all, let's give God a good, great praise for Jesus. Come, come on. Let's give him a great praise for Jesus. The shepherd of my soul. The shepherd of my soul. The king of my life. He is the one. Amen. And he's worthy. He's 
worthy of this and some. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Pastor Lawrence, he's worthy of this and some. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So we're moving now into our time of giving. <laughs> we're moving to our time of giving. Amen. In the temple. If this is your tithing Sunday. We would that you would tithe your ten. as it is commanded in scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of us have seed in the ground right now? All right, I won't get in trouble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Just lift your hands and say, thank God for my seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We have modes of giving that are electronic. If you're giving in person, you can do so by coming to the front and seeing Minister Mason and Elder Prince or Elder McRae. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But surely, as sure as I got seed in the ground, I got a harvest too. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Harvest is coming, sure enough. I'm telling you what I feel in the spirit. Harvest is coming, sure enough. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And you can get harvest in one, more than one way, you know. Some comes monetarily. Some comes in healing. <laughs> some comes in deliverance. Hallelujah. But either way, harvest has got to come. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, harvest has got to hit my house. Hallelujah. This is a seed sowing church. This is a faith believing church. A Bible based church. Hallelujah. So harvest has got to hit the house. Hallelujah. So we're standing all over the room with our seed, with our offerings. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you're giving my cash app, the cash app is dollar sign GTLM485. Again, that's dollar sign GTLM485. If you're giving my debit card, credit card, you can come see Elder McCray to my left, your right. If you're giving cash, tangible cash, you can come see Elder Prince or Minister Mason. Amen? So, Father, in Jesus' name, we ask that you would bless those that have to give. Bless those who did not have to give God. Give it back to them, some 100, some 200, some 1,000 fold. In the mighty name of Jesus, let our harvest be plentiful. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we give into your kingdom, seeking and waiting on a harvest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. You can come face the walls, come down the aisles, and return down the center aisles. In the name of Jesus.
the kingdom of heaven, and all of the other things will be added. You know it's singing, oh. Everybody, clap your hands and give Jesus a praise. So, Father in heaven, we give you thanks. We give you praise because this is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for our lying down last night and how you woke us up early this morning. Gave us a brand new day. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you very much, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for another chance to give your name to praise. Thank you for another chance to see each other's face, to hear each other's voices. Father, we give you thanks. Oh, God, for another chance to worship you in the beauty of holiness. We give you thanks, oh, God, for this worship experience and how you have blessed us thus far in this time with you. We pray now, Lord, that you'd anoint your servant afresh. Father, that you would use us for your glory. Our ears are open to hear what the Spirit has to say. Open our hearts now to receive. Lord, we pray now, hallelujah, that you'd pour into us your word today. Feed us, hallelujah, like only you can. Father, we give you thanks for what you're about to say and for what you're about to do. Move by your power and by your spirit. Father, if it be your will, we would that you would save, that you would heal, set free, and deliver. Have thine own way in the sanctuary. And God, will thank you for it forevermore. It is in Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen. Amen. Come on, clap those hands and give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Give him a wonderful praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. We're certainly thankful today. Amen for our first lady. Amen. Let's thank the Lord for Lady Baxter. Amen. Amen. We thank God for all of our house pastors. Thank God for Pastor King, Pastor Lawrence, Pastor Simmons, to all of our deacons today. God bless you and our mothers, all of the saints. And we thank God for all of our visiting friends. If you're visiting with us for the first time, would you just wave at us so we can give you a God bless you today? Amen. Come on, let's thank the Lord for them greater true light. Amen. We welcome you here to the greater true light. And we certainly appreciate God for you choosing. Amen. This place is your place of worship today. And we pray that you're being uh, empowered, that you're being ignited. Amen. That you feel the love of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. As I was worshiping, amen, this morning, amen, had to tell God, it's not about me. It's all about you. Amen. If you listen to the songs that are sung, amen, he is the king of kings. He's the Lord of lords. And I believe sometimes we just look at him, amen, as a spirit roaming the earth. But I want you to know, hallelujah, he sits on a throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell somebody he sits on a throne. Amen. He rules and he super rules. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He dispatches.
gives his angels. Hallelujah. The Bible says he gives his angels charge. Hallelujah. Over us. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. The Holy Ghost, our comforter. Amen. Leads us and guides us into all truth. And so I thank God today for the spirit of God. Amen. That we feel in this room. Did you feel his presence? Do you feel his presence? Tell somebody he's here. He's here. He's here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So I thank him for his visitation. Amen. We thank the Lord for the praise team and we thank God for the musicians today, to our ushers that are serving on the door, to media, everybody. Amen. We thank the Lord for you. Amen. Let's go today to the word of the Lord. First Corinthians chapter one. Amen. And verse number 27. Amen. Verse 27. First Corinthians chapter one and verse 27 and then to Mark chapter nine. And verse number 23. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 27. And then Mark chapter 9 and verse 23. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you have 1 Corinthians 1, say amen. amen. Glory to God. And I want to read this from the King James Version this morning. The Bible says, But God had chosen the foolish things of the world, to confound the wise and God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty glory to God once more but God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty come on and shout hallelujah Amen. Mark chapter 9 and verse number 23. Mark chapter 9 and verse 23. Amen. When you have Mark chapter 9 verse 23, say amen. The word of the Lord said, Jesus said unto him, Hallelujah. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe. Tell somebody, if you can only believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. I want to talk to you today for a few moments, amen, from the thought foolish faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Foolish faith. Amen. You may be seated. Foolish faith. Amen. My brothers and sisters this morning, hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We have been in uh, a different kind of season. We've been experiencing, amen, a different kind of season. The spirit of the season and the things that have been taking place amen, in this hour has been like never before. We have witnessed things that have taken place in our lives, in our families, glory to God, in our communities, in the lives of people that we have come in contact with, amen, that many of us in our lifetime have never experienced or seen before. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand something that's very important to this time and into this hour, and that is the foundation of the Christian faith is faith in God. Amen. It is necessary, it is imperative that we get this down in our spirit that, amen, the foundation of the church, glory to God, is not the music. The foundation of the church, hallelujah, is not our culture of preaching. The, uh, the foundation of the church is not our dance. It is not, glory to God, the clapping of our hands. The, amen, foundation of the church is faith in God. Amen. Come on, look at somebody and say, faith in God. Amen. In other words, when we get finished doing all that we do on Sunday morning, uh, Monday is coming. And when Monday comes, you're going to need faith in God. 
Come on and shout hallelujah. Amen. Not only will you need faith in God, but you will need faith in his word. Come on and shout faith in his word. Amen. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, amen, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. Amen. Glory to God and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And so what the scripture allows us to know that we cannot please God. Uh, amen. Unless we have the foundation of the church. Amen. You need faith. Somebody say you need faith. Amen. Come on. Come on. Say it again. I need faith. Glory to God, I need faith. And I don't just need faith in a God, but I need faith in the word of God. And the Bible says that, amen, when we have this kind of faith, amen, glory to God, we believe that he is then a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Something is coming out of our faith. Amen, glory to God, we believe that God's word is in infallible glory to God the word here infallible means that it is incapable of error come on and shout hallelujah amen come on somebody say incapable of error amen if something is infallible uh, it is never wrong hallelujah amen it is never wrong and thus absolutely trustworthy and I want to tell you today you can trust God and you can trust his word my God would you look at somebody for me and say hey neighbor amen you can trust God and you can trust his word amen glory to God second Peter chapter 1 uh, verse 20 and 21 says these words. He says knowing this first of all that no prophecy of scripture comes from someone's own interpretation. He goes on to say for no prophecy was ever produced amen by the will of man but men spoke from God and as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. Amen. We also so see infallibility implied in 2 Timothy chapter 3. Amen. Round about those 16 and 17 verses. Amen. Where it declares that all scripture is God breathed. Amen. Come on say God breathed. Amen. And has the effect of producing servants of God. Amen. Who are thoroughly equipped for every good work. Well when we look at it from the New Living Translation of the text it reads as this all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives goes on to say it corrects us when we are wrong uh, and teaches us amen to do what is right uh, verse 17 says God uses it to prepare and equip his people uh, amen to do every good work uh, amen sisters and brothers the fact that God breathes scripture uh, ensures that the Bible is infallible amen number one we discuss because, uh, amen, we can say that the word of God or the Bible is infallible, number one, because uh, there is no failure in God. Come on. Uh, somebody said there is no failure in God. Uh, and then secondly, listen to this, uh, God cannot breathe out error. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, I said God cannot breathe out error. Uh, amen. Somebody say this with me. God cannot lie. Amen. If God said it, it's going to happen. Amen. Matter of fact, if God said it, it's already done. I don't have to wonder about it. I don't have to research it. I don't have to discover it. Because if God said it, he is the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and he's the end. He's the first and he's the last. It starts with him and it's going to end with him. I wish I had somebody that would lift your voice and shout, God God cannot lie. 
Yeah. Amen. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 6, uh, amen, beginning at that 15th verse said, uh, then Abraham waited patiently uh, and he received what God had promised. Uh, I'm coming, y'all, but I want to tell somebody here uh, and I need you to be a witness for me. Uh, amen. I want you to tell three people around you for me. Uh, tell them these words. If you would just be patient, uh, you will get Get your promise. Uh, I'm getting ready to go here, but I, I want to tell you today, if you would just be patient, uh, you will get your promise. Uh, come on and talk to about three people around you uh, and pass that around your road uh, and tell them if you would just be patient, uh, you will get your promise. All right. Uh, if you would just be patient, you will get your promise. Uh, the Bible said that Abraham waited patiently uh, and he received, uh, hallelujah, what God had promised him. Uh, amen. Not what man promised him, uh, but what God promised him. We understand uh, that man don't always keep their word. Uh, but one thing we do know about God uh, that if God said it uh, he is able uh, to bring it to pass uh, I wish I had somebody here that shot I'm waiting patiently uh, on my promise well the Bible goes on to say in that 16th verse uh, now when people take an oath I'm reading uh, from the New Living Translation of that text uh, he says now when people take an oath uh, they call on someone greater than themselves uh, to hold them to it uh, and without any question that oath is binding uh, verse 17 said God also bound himself with an oath so that those who receive the promise uh, could be perfectly sure uh, that he would never change his mind. Uh, the Bible said when God couldn't swear by no other, uh, he swore by himself. Uh, why? Because there's nobody greater uh, than him. Uh, Oh, uh, amen. Tell somebody there's nobody greater than him. Uh, and so when he could not swear uh, by no one else, he swore by himself. Uh, the Bible goes on to say in that 18th verse, uh, so God has given both his promise and his oath. Uh, these two things are unchangeable uh, because it is impossible for God to lie. Uh, therefore, we who have fled to him, uh, Amen for refuge talking about you and me uh, my God those who have uh, amen fled to him for refuge uh, can have great confidence uh, as we hold to the hope uh, that lies before us uh, somebody shot my hope is in God yes uh, and so the fact that the bible equips god's servants uh, thoroughly for service shows uh, that it guides us into truth and not error uh, if we read god's word and if we study god's word uh, his word is going to lead us into truth uh, and not into error uh, come on and shout hallelujah uh, if god is infallible uh, then so will be his word uh, I came to tell you today uh, my God like Mary the mother of Jesus uh, told the servants that day when they ran out of wine uh, at the wedding of Cana of Galilee uh, there in John chapter 2 and verse 5 uh, these are the words that Mary spoke uh, the Bible said his mother said unto the servants uh, whatsoever he saith unto you uh, do it Lord, uh, hallelujah. Uh, that's what Jesus' mother uh, said to the servants at the wedding of Cana of Galilee. Uh, he said, she said to them, uh, whatever he says, uh, do it. Uh, could God help me here today? Uh, this is where the problem comes in with many of us. Uh, 
what he may tell us to do many times will not make sense to us as a matter of fact in my in my mind and in your mind amen what he may tell you to do may sound foolish and even look downright foolish. Come on and shout hallelujah. Sound foolish and look foolish to somebody they said that's foolish to me. Come on and shout hallelujah. Amen. But when we understand as it pertains to this message today. Amen. What it is to be foolish and what it is that he's speaking of. Foolish in this sense suggests that it looks or sounds ridiculous. Yeah. Yes, it looks or sounds crazy. Amen. Some of us would say it's absurd. Amen. Not adding up or making sense in your finite mind. And if we can't make sense of it, if we can't see how it's going to come or pan out, amen, the way we expect it or see it in our mind, we will call it foolish and we won't participate. Come on and shout hallelujah somehow I believe that Mary knew uh, that what Jesus was getting uh, ready to do uh, in order for this to work amen in order for this miracle to work uh, hallelujah to God uh, amen it was not going to make sense to them uh, amen what he was getting ready to instruct them to do uh, but if they were going to get the miracle uh, they had to listen to him uh, and follow his instructions and so Mary sensing that they would have a problem following him the Bible said that Mary puts in the disclaimer whatever he says to do do it my God touch somebody and say neighbor in this season of your life there's some things God's going to ask you to do that ain't going to make sense to you but whatever he tells you to do somebody shout do it do it do it my God to it in this season of your life God is challenging you challenging you to believe him on a whole different level somebody shout my faith is on an increase yeah God is increasing my faith and so he's got to take me to some levels that I'm not used to he's about to take somebody here to another place in your faith another place in your praise another place in your worship and so where you're getting ready to go is getting ready to be uncomfortable somebody just go ahead and touch yourself and shout he's about to make me uncomfortable again you know you just came through a season of uncomfortability and now you got comfortable again but I want to tell you here you grow again God wants you to know you're getting ready to be placed in a more uncomfortable place one more time one more time, one more time, one more time. I, I want you to know he's pulling you, Lord. Uh, he's pulling you to do things uh, you've never done. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, I said he's pulling you, somebody. Uh, shout, I feel the tug in my spirit. Uh, he's tugging on somebody. Uh, and the tug don't feel good. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, the tug makes you nervous. Uh, the tug has made you scared. Uh, the tug, hallelujah. Uh, has made you tremble but I stopped by to tell you that this tug is going to bring you into something new yeah he's pulling you to do things you've never done but out of your obedience you're going to gain access to blessings and miracles and favor and healing and deliverance and breakthrough like you've never seen it before in your life tell somebody the tug is for your good yeah the tug is for your good I'm talking about foolish faith today if it makes sense to you then it's not faith if it makes sense to you it's not faith come on here what do you mean bishop come on look at what Peter said Peter Peter my God we're out here in the middle of nowhere and the storm is raging we're between where we were 
and where we're going and now a storm has arisen what are we going to do now the disciples are on the boat and they're trying to figure out how they're going to get out of this and then here comes a spirit walking in the middle of the storm the disciples are trying to figure out who is this on this water y'all ain't saying nothing but the bible said hallelujah that hallelujah peter speaks up and said lord if that's really you bid me to come to you on the water and jesus stood jesus stopped in the storm where he was and said to peter come y'all better talk back to me here and he said come the bible tells me now come on y'all the bible tells me that peter stepped out that boat in the middle of the storm and came to jesus on the water it didn't make sense somebody in the boat was saying peter you gonna drown somebody in the boat said peter you look crazy somebody in the boat said Peter you don't even know who's calling you but they didn't hear what Peter said Peter said Lord hallelujah if it's really you bid me to come unto thee on the water it doesn't make sense but when Peter stepped out of the boat he started walking on that water in the middle of that storm to go to Jesus I stopped by to tell somebody I'm going for it in this season even if I'm scared to do it Lord help me in this room look at somebody say neighbor I don't know about you but I'm going for it in this season even if I'm scared to do it sometimes you can't let your fear keep your feet from moving sometimes we let fear keep us from doing what it is that we need to do touch somebody and tell them don't let fear keep your feet from moving you know when you get afraid we get stuck y'all ain't saying nothing when we get afraid we can't move forward we can't move backwards we become stuck but in this season God is telling you I'm going to give you power to push past your fear and step in the faith I wish I had somebody that was shot I'm moving by faith I'm moving by faith I came to tell somebody that I'm going for it anybody else going for it you gotta go for it in this season even if you're scared to do it Oh, one rider wrote Pastor King one rider wrote any spot outside my comfort zone initially makes me timid and fearful oh God any spot outside of my comfort zone initially amen makes me timid and fearful but in reality I know following God means stepping into a life filled with adventure because the kingdom of God is not just talking it's living by God's power my God tell somebody you can't just talk this thing you got to walk this thing out come on don't just shout about it be about it don't just y'all ain't saying nothing I'll go to the ends of the earth for you God and you ain't moved from your home yet y'all ain't saying nothing you got to reach beyond what you're used to and step into uncomfortable places comfortable places the people the people God used were constantly living outside their comfort zone yeah people that God used were constantly living outside their comfort zones God was always moving them my God God was always molding them God 
God was always calling them to trust him in unfamiliar and uncomfortable places. I know some of you are nervous in this season because it looks like things are coming so fast. Opportunities are approaching so fast and you're being you don't know which way to go and you don't know what to do but God sent me here to tell you amen to take time my God to use wisdom take time to amen look at it and see what it is and see if it matches your vision if it matches what you've been praying about if it matches what the word of God has been speaking so that you can properly discern what it is that you're getting ready to walk into just like there is a reality or just like there is a real thing there is a counterfeit and so you must be very careful in this hour you gotta be very careful you gotta be very careful because you gotta be careful because you've been talking and when you start talking about your vision you start talking about your dream and you, you start talking out loud about uh, what it is that you want to do uh, it moves from your heart to your mouth uh, and so the enemy doesn't know what's in your heart uh, but when you open your mouth and speak uh, y'all ain't saying nothing uh, you not only give access uh, amen to what you believe through God uh, but then you give the enemy uh, my God uh, a chance to hear what it is you want to do uh, and so you uh, present an opportunity for him to send a counterfeit. But when you know what you know, when you when you know what you prayed for, huh? when you know what you've asked God to do, huh? when you know what you sought God for, huh? you know what the counterfeit looks like. Huh? Hallelujah! Huh? There's something that's not gonna be right about it. Huh? Something, huh? something spiritual, something physical. There's going to be something uh, that you're gonna have to look for, huh? and the only way you're gonna see it is through prayer. You gotta see it through prayer. And so the people God used, amen, were often put into uh, unfamiliar and uncomfortable places. There's just no arguing the point that following God means exactly that. We follow him. Somebody say follow him. Even if it makes you uncomfortable. Otherwise we miss out on his full plan for us. And all the blessings that come in this plan. Amen. God enriches us. Amen. He enriches our faith as we get to know him through Bible study and through prayer. But he empowers our faith when we follow him in obedience somebody say obedience sisters and brothers fear has held many of us hostage over the years and there were many things that we should have stepped at that we let pass us by and did not pursue but not in this season somebody shout not this season uh, this season I'm going to do it uh, even if I'm scared uh, do I have somebody here today uh, that can shout enough is enough uh, there's more to my life than where I am right now uh, and I'm in a place I don't know about nobody else uh, but I'm in a place right now in my life uh, where I'm telling God if you have it for me uh, show it to me so I can step at it uh, even if I'm scared uh, God I'll do it is there anybody here that can slap your neighbor high five and say neighbor if God's got it for you even if you're scared step at it go at it somebody shout this season will not steal my miracle this season will not steal my deliverance this season will not steal what God has for me even if I'm scared I'm going after it I'm going after it when God when God told Joshua when God told Joshua, yeah, in Joshua chapter 1, 
verse 9 when God told Joshua to be strong uh, and, and courageous it wasn't because there was nothing to be afraid of God no, no. When, when God said to Joshua, be strong and courageous, it wasn't because there was nothing to be afraid of. There truly were, there were truly giants in the land. Yeah, where he was going, there, he was getting ready to face stuff that was bigger than him. He, he was getting ready to walk through places that uh, walk through people that were bigger than him. Uh, the enemies of Israel were vast and strong. Uh, nonetheless, uh, God told Joshua to be strong and courageous uh, because the Lord your God uh, is with you wherever you go. Uh, I may be scared, but I'm not alone. David said, yea, though I walk. Through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil because the Lord is with me. I wish I had somebody that was shot. He's with you. He's with you. I, 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 come on, somebody shot. He's with me. He's with me. He's with me. He's with me. How many of you, how many of you will be honest with the preacher today? How many of you will be honest enough today uh, and say, I've had scared moments in my life? How many of you have ever been scared to do something you knew God wanted you to do? Oh my God, y'all don't want to hear. I said, how many of you have been scared uh, to do something you knew God wanted you to do? Uh, I can only imagine, I can only imagine. Uh, Naaman in 2 Kings chapter 5. Uh, amen, Pastor Lawrence, I can only imagine. Uh, who had leprosy. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he wasn't just mad because uh, Elisha didn't come out to see him. Uh, that was only a part of the problem. Uh, but the other part is... Uh, he sent him uh, to go dip himself uh, in that dirty Jordan River. Oh, my God, my God, not only have you attacked uh, uh, my, my, my pride, uh, but now you want to make me go out uh, and dip myself. Uh, now you want to make me look like a fool. Uh, not only won't you come out and see me, uh, but now you want me to take myself huh, in the middle of these people huh, and look like a fool huh? but what Naaman didn't know huh, he found out after he went huh? I want to tell you huh, you may not have all the details huh, but you'll find out everything huh, as you go huh? look at somebody say neighbor huh? just go with God huh? if God says dip then dip huh? if God says dig then dig huh? if God says move then move Bible said, Chanel, the Bible said that Naaman had, Naaman had servants around him and those servants said to Naaman, Naaman, I know too much about this prophet. Oh, name and name it. If this prophet says do it, just do it. Uh, and the Bible said that name and went uh, and dipped himself in the Jordan River uh, seven times. Uh, and the Bible said when he came up out of the water, uh, the seventh time, uh, the leprosy was gone uh, and his skin was as a baby. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, touch somebody and tell them, say, neighbor, uh, this is your season uh, to dip in dirt water but when you come out you're gonna be cleaner than you've ever been before somebody's going through a messy situation but can I tell you you getting ready to leave the mess in the mess y'all ain't saying nothing because out of this is coming your miracle it's coming your miracle. I, I got the clock. Lord have mercy. Oh God. I heard Jesus. I heard Jesus. In John chapter 9 and verse 7 tell a blind man who has been blind since birth. He told him go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. It sounds foolish that you would send a blind man who's been blind from birth to go wash in a pool. Huh? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Huh? But the Bible said the blind man went huh? and washed himself huh? and came back seeing. Huh? Lord, I wish I had somebody. 
I thought about, I thought about, I thought about the Shunammite woman who left her dead baby boy laying in the prophet Elijah's bed and she went out on her horse to find him and bring him back to her house to raise him from the dead. It sounded foolish that you would leave something dead in a man's bed and get on your horse to go find somebody that you don't know where he is. But the Bible said she found Elijah. Lord, uh, hallelujah. Uh, and when uh, Elijah came back, uh, when Elisha came back, uh, hallelujah. Uh, the Bible said when Elisha came in the house, uh, there was the child uh, lying dead on his bed. Uh, he went in, therefore, uh, shut the door behind him. Uh, Lord, I wish I had somebody. Uh, shut the door behind uh, the two of them. Uh, and the Bible said he prayed to the Lord and he went up and laid on the child it sounds foolish doesn't it it sounds foolish that a live man would go and lay on a dead boy y'all ain't saying nothing but the Bible said when Elijah got on top of the boy he put his mouth on his mouth his eyes on his eyes my God, his hands on his hands. And he stretched himself out. Yes, Lord, over the boy. And the Bible said the flesh of the child became warm. Come on and say yes, Lord. But y'all touch the mind and say that ain't enough. I don't just want my blessing warm. I want my blessing alive. I want... I want my blessing moving. The Bible said that he returned and walked back and forth. Hallelujah in the room. Come on and say yes Lord. And the Bible said that he did it again. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor this is your season to do it again. Hallelujah tried it one time and it worked a little bit but this time higher I said this time when you go at it hallelujah God's going to make it work come on and say yes Lord the Bible tell me that he stretched himself on the boy again and this time the child sneezed seven times and the Bible said that the child did something that he didn't do the first time he opened his eyes oh Lord God I said he opened his eyes and he called Gehazi and said call the Shunammite come on and say yes Lord and when he called her she came in the room yes she did picked up her son and the Bible said she went in and fell at his feet and bowed to the ground then she picked her son up and went out come on and say yes Lord I'm closing this morning but I got to give you one more look at somebody and say neighbor he got to give you one more the last one I want to tell you about is when Jesus had to pay taxes on the temple the tax collectors came to collect their money and Jesus told Peter said Peter go down to the lake in Matthew chapter 17 and verse 27 he said but so that we may not cause an offense go to the lake and throughout your line look at your neighbor and act like you got a fishing rod and say neighbor oh, throw out throw out 
out your line. This is the season to throw out your line. Hey, God. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is your season to throw out the line. Take the first, the first fish that you catch. Open his mouth and you'll find money in the fish's mouth. Somebody shout foolish faith. It sounds foolish to think you're going to catch a fish. And in his belly is going to be money. But in this season, God, I said God is doing things that look impossible. God is doing things that look different. Somebody, the Bible said, he takes the fish out and when he opens his mouth, hallelujah, there is money in his mouth. Listen to what Jesus said. Take it and give it to them. Not only for my taxes, but for yours too. Tell somebody when you throw out your line this time around, God's going to bless you so that you're going to have enough not only to take care of you, but to take care of your children, to take to take care of your mother, to take care of your father, to take care of your family. Lord, I wish I had somebody that would tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, God is using foolish faith. It sounds foolish, but work your faith. I stop by to tell somebody, God, take the foolish thing to confound the wise. Yeah, yeah. God, I love you. God has chosen the foolish thing of the world to put to shame the wise. The wise say it don't make sense. The wise say it ain't gonna happen. The wise say it ain't adding up. But I'm moving by faith. And as I move by faith, he's gonna take my foolish faith and put the wise to shame. Yeah! Yes, Lord. I'm closing when I tell you this. I heard the Bible declare in Mark chapter 9 and verse 23. Jesus said, if you can believe all things are possible to him that believe. I stop by to tell somebody if you could only believe God what you need him to do he can do it he's able to make a way he's able to open the door he's able to give you what you've been praying and asking him to do you got to be willing to step out on his word tell God if you said it I believe it that settles it there is nothing you can't do if you said it numbers 23 and 19 for God is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent if he said it shall he not do it if he spoke it shall he not make it good look at your neighbor for the last time I'm really through and tell them say neighbor it sounds 
crazy to you, but I claim it. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it sounds crazy to you, but I, but I, I, I claim it. Somebody ought to claim it. I claim my healing. I claim my deliverance. I claim my new home. I claim my new job. I claim my deliverance. I claim it. My business. I claim it. Somebody open your mouth and press your claim. Your claim. Oh. I claim it. I claim it. My children are saved. I claim it. My husband is on the way. My wife is on the way. Y'all ain't claiming nothing in here. Out of my belly is flowing rivers, rivers, rivers of living water, water, water. I feel like going on. Somebody open your mouth and shout. It sounds crazy, but it's gonna work. It sounds foolish, but it's gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Another one just came to me. I thought about the woman with the issue of blood. I thought about the woman with the issue of blood. Lord have mercy. Who had dealt with her issue for 12 long years. Yes, sir. It sounded foolish, Elder, that she would come out of her house. But what sounded even more foolish was that she would get down on her knees and crawl through a crowd. But it gets worse. What's even more foolish is that you think you can grab the hem of a garment and come out with a healing. God have mercy. But the Bible tell me that the woman with the issue of blood, yes, Lord, pressed her way through the crowd. And the Bible said when she got close enough to the Lord, she grabbed the hem of his garment. And the Bible said immediately, immediately, she knew within herself that she had been made whole. Touch somebody and say, neighbor, this time when you respond, it's going to happen immediately. Is there anybody here that believe God for an immediate turnaround? Believe God for an immediate reversal. Believe God for an immediate deposit. Believe God for an immediate healing. Believe God for an immediate breakthrough. Lift your voice and shout. I have foolish faith. Whatever he said, 
Whatever he says, whatever he said, oh God, oh God, hey, whatever he said, just do it, just do it. If you want me to run, Lord, I run. If you want me to jump, Lord, I jump. If you want me to holler, Lord, I holler. If you want me to give, Lord, I give. Whatever you want me to do, whatever you want me to do, I'm going to do it. Slap somebody, a high five, and say, neighbor, just do it, just do it. Just do it. One, two, three, praise it. Somebody praise it. Somebody praise it. of your neighbor and what God's about to do for them. I want you to grab someone by the hand and I just want you to start screaming favor. Come on and light this room up. I feel favor in this room. 
you watch God in this season, you're going to be challenged. You're going to be challenged in this season. I thought about the Judah. When they found out that the children of Moab, the children of Mount Seir, the children of Aaron were coming up. Oh, have mercy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And God sent word through Jehazel to tell them to get up early in the morning. Get your singers, get your praises together. Your and he said, but know this, before you get up in the morning, that the battle is not yours. Tell somebody, this battle is not yours, but you do have to show up. You know what? Thank you, Lord. You know what? Sometimes your showing up is a weapon enough. Because they can't believe you showed up. But, but the Bible said that God sent word through Jehazel said, tell them, get up early in the morning. Go to the cliff of Ziz. When you get there, tell your singers to say these words. Praise the Lord for his mercy endure forever. And the Bible said as they begin to sing those praises that the Lord re released ambushments from heaven down in the valley. And the Bible said that when those ambushments was released smoke came up, dust came up. And the enemies started fighting each other. They began to fight each other. And so instead of them fighting Judah, they fought each other. And they killed themselves. The same team that came to kill them ended up killing each other. But the victory in it is not in just the deaths of Moab, Mount Seir, and Ammon. The victory in it is this, when the dust settled. When, when the dust settled, the blessing was laying out in the battlefield. Tell somebody God's turning your battle into a blessing. That's why you can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you can't stop praising him because you're in a battle. You gotta keep praising. Praise the Lord for His mercy and do it forever. Praise the Lord for His mercy and do it forever. Praise the Lord for His mercy and do it forever. So when they look down, when they look down into the battlefield, the Bible says they were covered in diamonds and pearls and jewelry and gold and silver. Then the Lord said to them, said, now Jehoshaphat, go down into the battlefield and collect your blessing. When you study that scripture, you find out that the battlefield was then called the Valley of Blessings. What I was supposed to be a victim to, I came up with, oh, I became a victor over. Tell somebody, say, neighbor, in this season, God's giving you blessings through your battles. All right. It's been a fight, but you're going to win through your praise. I want you to take the next 30 seconds and go ahead and praise him like you're on the cliff of this and declare, I'm getting victory. I'm getting victory. I'm Yeah. 
want to be with one accord. Get in the flow. Get in the flow. Get in the flow. You watch God. What with it? 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 To, I want you to do me this favor. We gotta go. We gotta be in Andrews by four today. But how many know we're taking this with us? Because we need to let everybody know this is the season of foolish faith. Oh, have mercy. Thank you. This is your season of foolish faith. Just, just, just do this, Adam. Take step at it. Tell somebody I dare you to step at it. You, in in school, in school, we used to draw the line and and dare you to cross it. But you ought to tell somebody the line has been drawn. Now you want to prove who you are. Step over that line. Step over that line. I say, I'm going at it. I'm going at it. I'm, I'm going at it. I'm, I'm. I'm going at it. You going at it. You going at it. You going at it. front of the church, holler at those in the back of the church and tell them this is your season to go for it. Y'all in the back of the church, stand up and holler at the people in the front of the church and tell them this is your season to go for it. Now y'all pass it back and forth, pass it back. This is our season to go for it.
Satan.
My God, my God. Tell somebody it's going to happen because I'm going to follow God's instruction. Say it again. I, it's going to happen because I'm going to follow God's instructions. Watch yourself. Lord help us. I'm gonna get you out of here. as you can to forty-two dollars, forty-two dollars, and sew it. As close as you can to forty-two dollars and sew it. I'm not being scared of this hour. If God said it, I'm speaking it, and we're going with it. It'd be up to you <laughs> to do it or not to do it. But we're using foolish faith in this season. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be scared to say what he says. No, 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 no. It ain't about the money, it's about obedience and stepping out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I want you to get it and show it today. Amen. Hallelujah. Go watch yourself, young man. Hallelujah. Get as close as you can to that $42 seed and bring it, show it. If you need to show by way of cash out, there's dollar sign GTLM485. Amen. You can show it. We're putting the seed on this word today. We're putting the seed on this word today. We can't do all this and don't sow seed. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm not afraid of it. I'm not afraid of it. Doors are opening for me. Opportunities are opening for me. Increase. Those of you that are on Facebook Live, amen. You've been receiving of this word. I want you to sow. Glory to God. I want you to sow. Amen. Seed produces harvest. I said seed produces harvest. Glory to God. We receive the seed of the word. Hallelujah. Now we sow into that thing. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we thank you. Hey, hey, hey. We thank you for every seed sower. Hallelujah. We thank you for every seed sower. We thank you now for the opportunity to release. For we know out of our seed is attached faith. Hallelujah. And our faith has caused us to respond. Now, Lord, we thank you that out of our response, 
you will respond. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for the increase. Thank you for the more than enough. Thank you for the doors that are opening. Thank you for the way that's being made. Thank you, Lord, that we've not seen our best seed yet. We've not seen our best harvest yet. Father, in the name of Jesus, we sow according to your word. And it is so in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. If you're releasing that seed, you can release it in Jesus' name. My God. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you. Yes. I give seed to the sower. I give bread to the eater. Hallelujah. You're not afraid to release it. He's not afraid to give it back to you. My God, we bless God today. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody shout, this is nothing compared to what's on its way back. My God. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we're getting ready to get you out of here. Getting ready to get you out of here. Because I feel another bomb about to drop in here. But you do me this. Just reach over real quick. My God. Reach over real quick and just begin to tell God to bless your neighbor. I'm getting ready to go. Come on, speak. I want you to tell God to bless your neighbor. God, do it for my neighbor. Make a way for my neighbor. Open the door for my neighbor. Touch and heal my neighbor's body. From the crown of the head to the soles of their feet. Work miracles, signs, and wonders in my neighbor's life. Come on, release it now. Move in their children. Touch their finances. Increase them more and more. Father, we thank you. And we bless you. And we give you glory. And we give you honor. And we give you praise. Thank you for doing it now. In Jesus' name we pray. this afternoon 4 o'clock p.m. We're scheduled to be in Andrews with Dr. Deshaun Rouse at 4 o'clock p.m. Hallelujah. The 25th pastoral anniversary 
At 4 o'clock p.m., I want you to meet us in Andrews at 4. We'll be online on Tuesday night for Bible study. At 7 o'clock p.m., we need your prayers to pray for us. We're traveling this weekend. We need your prayers. We're on the road. And we need the prayers of the righteous to pray for us as we travel. Friday night, we're scheduled to be in Raleigh, North Carolina. Saturday night, we're scheduled to be in Atlanta, Georgia. So we need your prayers to pray for us as we do the will of the Lord. Sunday morning worship will be at 10 o'clock a.m. And then Sunday evening, we'll be in Georgetown, Santee area at the St. Luke Church of God for Pastor Mutri in the name of the Lord. So there's a lot going on. I need your prayers. I'm praying for you. I need your prayers to pray for us in Jesus' name. We love you today. We thank God for you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. God is able to do all things. Isn't it? Amen. There's nothing impossible with God. with God. Amen. Tell somebody God's going to do it for you. Hallelujah. I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray. I want to pray. Jalisa Tobin, amen, and Deja, amen. We're going to believe God for them. Hallelujah. I'm telling you that praise that just went up just now. <sighs> Hallelujah. Amen. Tell somebody there was a miracle in that one. I believe God. working God. So y'all, y'all just come on and just press in right there in prayer for those names. Father in Jesus' name. Father, touch Sister Deja right now. Lord, you are a healer of all manner of sickness. Oh, all manner of disease. Father, we curse breast cancer right now. We plead the blood of Jesus. Lord, touch our body now. Lord, we cancel the assignment and we declare and decree that she's healed. Father, touch her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, you're able to heal every manner of sickness, every manner of disease. Father, we pray now that you lay hands on her right now from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, we put our faith in action and we believe you for Sister Deja. In the name of Jesus, Lord, give a miracle in her body now. Father, we know that you are God and beside you there is no other. Lord, stretch out your hand now and touch her now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for your divine touch and we thank you for your divine will. Father, hear the cry of your people. Father, hear the cry of your people. Father, concerning danger, in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, we pray uh, that you will touch Jaleesa. Uh, Jaleesa Tobin, God, uh, you know the situation. Uh, and you know the circumstance. Uh, Lord, do it now. Uh, Lord, we believe uh, in the power of prayer. Uh, we believe uh, that there's nothing uh, too hard for you. Uh, Father, in Jesus' name, uh, we call on your name. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, lay your hands on her. Uh, move in the 
this situation. Move on the circumstance. Bring around Chuck. Give a breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, we cancel the assignment of the enemy concerning her life. And we declare and decree that all is well. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we lift her up. We lift her up to you. We give her to you. In the name of Jesus, have your way now. Move now. Work it out now. Fix it now. In the name of Jesus. Look all across this congregation. You know their problems. You know their situation. You know their circumstances. Father, we call on the name of the Lord. Jesus. 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 Thou son of David. Jesus. We call you wonderful. Jesus. Our counselor. Jesus. Our way maker. Jesus. Hallelujah. We know that you're able. We know that you can. And we believe that you will. Move now. Work out every problem. Work out every situation. Work out every circumstance. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you for doing the work. Work it out, God. Work it out, God. Work it out, God. And we'll give your name to pray. We'll give your name to glory. We'll give your name to honor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Do it right now. Do it right now. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Somebody clap your hand and say, right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Say that the Lord rebuke you. The blood be against you. The blood be against you. The blood be against you. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. The blood, the blood. The blood, the blood. The blood of Jesus. Be made whole now. 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 In Jesus' name. And it is so. And so it is. If you believe it, clap your hands and tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Hallelujah. It's already done. 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 Wave your hand and shout, it's already done. We're closing. It's already done. Whoever you believe in God for, it's already done. Oh, it's already done. It's already done. Oh. It's already done. Oh, have mercy. It's already done. This is it. I just heard it one more. It's already done. It's already done. Woo! We're closing. It's already done. It's already done. Lord, it's already done. All right, we're going out. We're going out. 
saying it's already done. Let's stand to our feet, because that's what I hear the Holy Ghost saying. It's already done. It's already done. It's already done. So, Father, we thank you. We give you praise for how you blessed us today, how you sent your word, how you've healed, how you've delivered, how you've set free. Thank you for the spirit of God today. Your presence has saturated this room. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you because we've not yet seen the, our best days. There's yet more ahead of us. Thank you for foolish faith. Thank you in this season, God, that even when we're scared, we'll do what you say. In the name of the Lord, thank you now for the victory that is already ours. And it is so now. We believe you and we trust you. In Jesus' name we pray. Give us traveling mercies to our next service. Bless the food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. Bless the hands that prepared it and bless us as we receive it. And we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. If you got to talk at all, just tell somebody it's already done. As you're going out the door, just tell them it's already done. Just agree with them on your way out and just say it's already done. Already done. Already done.